Welcome to Toffee TV. This is the Starting Eleven show. Arsenal versus Everton. Tough game and obviously the start of uh, obviously a tough fixture run after Everton have had 10 days off after that victory against Wolves at home. So let's get into it. Jordan Pickford in goal. Andy Lonergan said this week that he single-handedly kept Everton up in the last three years. That's, that is huge. Absolutely huge. Of course, he starts in goal. Uh, back four. Um, been have a little think about this because obviously they haven't been great. And there are more choices available now with uh, pretty much everyone in the defence available to play. Um, but I think I'm going to keep Ashley Young at right back. Had a great game against Wolves, obviously scored in the Premier League, becoming Everton's oldest ever Premier League scorer. Um, could have maybe swapped them over to left back and played Nathan Patterson, who obviously played in the week in a behind clo closed doors game against Mansfield. Um, but I just think for this one, I think it's important that we just keep the shape um, and that means Michalenko starting at left back. There's only really Ashley Young who could play at left back, let's be honest, instead of Michalenko. So I'm going to go for them too as the full backs. I think obviously it's going to be a tough day with the pace they've got on either side. Um, would Nathan Patterson defensively have helped? Um, not 100% sure. So Ashley Young got right back. Michalenko at left back. Um, yeah, and as I said, it's going to be tough just, just the way they play, the way they break. Um, you know, players cutting inside, obviously. Saka, obviously, in great form. It's going to be a tough day all round, but let's hope those two can do their jobs. At centre-back, obviously, it's James Tarkowski and Jared Brantwaite. It's really important that these two are playing now week in and week out. We do have Michael Keane. We do have O'Brien available. Uh, to come in, but obviously then those two players are not up to the level of these two. So, um, Brantwaite, it's important he just plays now week in and week out and gets back to that level he was at last season. Not not quite there, and obviously in the last away game against Manchester United, both of them give very poor goals away. Um, being caught in possession against pacey players, let's just hope they've learned that lesson and it doesn't happen on. Saturday into midfield, uh, Oriol Mangala and Adisha Garner Gay. For me, Mangala, it was no surprise, you know, the Wolves game. Uh, for me, he should have been in the team for, for weeks. I don't, I don't understand how he's been on the bench. I, re I really don't get that at all. So it was no shock to me that, you know, against Wolves, he scored and had a good game. I think he should have been playing because I just think he's the best player we've got at the moment in midfield. In, in possession, who just keeps it nice and tidy, you know, without sort of James Garner being in there. I think he just keeps it nice and tidy and sits in front of that back four and does his job. And obviously, alongside the Jason Garner guy, who's got all that experience, obviously still a really important player for Evan. I think they're, like, they're our best two for playing a two at the moment. Um, the core has been playing a lot deeper, has been playing deeper. I just For me, I just don't think he's as good as uh, Mangala. So those two will sit in front of the back four and hopefully stop the uh, the passing lane so Arsenal can't get through the middle of the park. Uh, in front of them, I'm going to go for the Corey. Um Obviously, recently, it's been, you know, you've been looking at the side going, who's going to play left, who's going to play right? And it's been Jack Harrison and Linson coming in and out all the time. Well, clearly, those two just haven't been up to it this season. So, Gonna play the core in that in that role, but obviously he's gonna do a lot of work. Good on set pieces, and we'll need that defensively. Obviously, is huge, but obviously offensive as well. We'll need them for set pieces. With that being the real key to how we score goals, uh, having more height in there is really important to both ends of the pitch. I'm gonna go with Dwight McNeil on the right rather than being on the left. I think. He's got to be on the pitch for those set pieces. We saw that. We saw how important that was against Wolves. Hugely, hugely important. But I just think taking Njai from the left, which is his best position, I just don't think McNeil adds enough. So Njai will start on the left and McNeil on the right for me. 
because I think you get more out of Jai on the left, and I think you get about the same out of McNeil on the right. Okay, you're not getting those crosses in from the byline, but when was the last time we really did anything with those crosses? Um, it's the set pieces we need them for, and also coming inside on his left foot, which is what he was doing when he was playing when he's been playing the central role. So effectively, you're getting you're getting the same out of him. Um, if he plays on the right hand side, so I I don't understand why the manager favours him on the left and puts in Jack. I think you're cancelling out both both of the best parts of the players by doing that. Uh, and I'd rather see in Jack. I think in is important in games like this when you need someone to take you up the pitch, carry the ball, win those fouls, break up the play, set pieces. We know how important they are. So if he can pick up the ball and run at the Arsenal players, and there'll be more space because Arsenal will play team will play in the front foot and will leave those spaces. And if he can win those fouls, that's a big opportunity for us. Uh, up front, this is an interesting one because this game, we could actually have four centre-forwards available. Um, Chimiti may miss out because when you look at that bench, it's starting to get a little bit stronger and you look at it and think, would, is, could he be involved or would you leave him out and play him in the under-21s on Monday night? I mean, we could do both, but we... We do have players available now for the uh, the bench, and we can, which means we might only have one goalkeeper, which is huge, huge step forward. Um, but certainly, there's a question to be asked whether Brozier has got enough in the tank yet. We saw Beto come start against Manchester United. Yes, he had a couple of decent chances, but did he give us a platform to play off? I thought. Dom against Wolves obviously contributed hugely for the two on goals, so it's important. You know, to have him as well. So I'm I'm gonna go for Dom. I'm gonna go for the safe option. But I would like to see Brozier come on and give that little a bit more than that cameo. Someone who can come on maybe with half an hour to go and affect things. It's great coming on a four 0 and everything's nice and you're at home. But is Brozier ready to make that next step, which is come on with half an hour to go and affect the game in a game that maybe you're behind in? Can he add something to this team where you look and think you know, if Arsenal go one nil up, that we'd probably look at that and go, "We're beaten." Can Brozier come on and add something, change the dynamic of the game? Um, I certainly hope so. But I think Dom, for me, starts there. I don't think Brozier's quite ready for that, and I just, I, I don't think Beto gives us enough of a platform against the team that we're just not going to have the ball uh, enough of. I mean, you know, Manchester United a couple of weeks ago—that's one thing, but they aren't the same side as Arsenal. We saw last week. Forest go to Manchester United and put the ball away that you know what we should have done really so Arsenal are very much a different beast than Manchester United so it's going to be very very tough so I think we have to have that platform to play off so um, that's my 11 let me know your thoughts hopefully in the next couple of weeks It'll start to change a little bit more with Chimiti and Brozier being available maybe to start games. It gives us a little bit more for when we come up against uh, Chelsea and uh, City and, and obviously Forest, which is, is looking like a huge game in the month as well. So let me know your thoughts in the comments who you'd have in your team. Make sure you check out the match preview with Baz and myself as well and all the videos after the game. Make sure to give this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you want more great videos, join us over on Toffee TV Premier. The link is in the description and the QR codes come up on the screen now. See you later.